Hi, well here we are, we're inside the Design Center Air Design, and this is where the really cool stuff happens. And I'm going to get to design the 2017 Super Duty accessories. I think I know what I'm doing, but Hector's going to give me a little bit of help. Hector, <laughs> one of the designers here at Air Design, thank you for having yeah. me. Thank you. So Hector, so let's see how it's really done. You've got the drawing on here, so you're actually going to sketch out some ideas. And what are some of the things that you're going to be thinking about while you're sketching? Well, like I told you, we were trying to breathe the lines in the car. Let me show you. And we tried to see the angles and the shapes, the proportions of the car. We tried to keep that in mind while we were sketching the new, new parts for the, for the car because we don't want the part to look like a stranger. Part. Sure, yeah, makes sense. So, so you'll sketch it out there first. Can we see how that looks? Yeah. Actually, just try to block out and make the overall proportion. I'm noticing as soon as you're doing it on there, it's mirroring it, mirroring it on the other side. Yeah. So oh, that, that makes it well, easier. That makes, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Faster. Where were you five minutes ago? <laughs> After we have this. We go to the 3D model, already done. Let me show you the parts. So that's just the part there. That's the air design bumper cover. Exactly. This is where the Sylvania Osram LEDs go in? Exactly. Okay. Excellent. Okay, well sometimes Hector is telling me that the drawings aren't available from the manufacturers, maybe for lower volume parts or unique parts, such as we have behind you. Not a problem here at Air Design. They use 3D scanning, and this funky looking motorcycle here has been all taped up with these dots, and we're gonna ask Hector here to show us how to do it. And I'm sorry, Jorge is gonna tell us, show us how to do it. Hector, tell well, us what's going on. Well, this process is called 3D, 3D scanning, and Jorge here is using a laser gun, look like, and he's creating the shape of the, in this case, a motorcycle in the computer with all the little tiny measurements the scanner is making. And we take this information into the computer and they start to develop uh, any part we want. And so this, you're using the basic drawings and you're producing a, an auxiliary part, an accessory part, if you will, exactly, to go on yeah. top of that. And you'll have all your own drawings and you do that all in-house too. Exactly, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. We have all the measurements and all the precise shape of the vehicle or, or whatever product we, we want. All right, so whether the drawings are supplied or you make your own, next step is prototyping. Let's check out how we do that. Okay, let's go. Okay, thank you, Jorge. So once the design is done, you have all kinds of ways. The next step is to make a prototype, but one of the ways you use is 3D printers, right? Right. And is this only going, is this make miniature sizes of the actual, or is this gonna make actual parts in here? Well, this part can make the um, small parts like this, for instance, this is a, a bracket we use for install some of the parts. But we, we take the products from here to make maybe a, a little part of the molds. So this was made in a 3D printer? Yes. That's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this machine, I know, I'm impressed already because I'm told there's 15 of these in the world. They're very expensive. What does this machine do and why is it so unique? Well, this machine is really cool because you can make uh, prototypes like this and you can evaluate the shape of the, the your design and then can, you can add clay and modify it and then mill it again and we go back and forth all the time you want and right this here really on the accelerates floor. the process yeah exactly right floor. from the computer this is really quiet machine so you could uh, you really could clean you could actually bring in a full-size model of a car and add clay to the car exactly. and this machine will just mill the clay off or it could in fact do a whole car if you wanted it to. Exactly, or make it on scale if you want it. You can evaluate the shape. Basically, basically that's a, its purpose, just wow. to evaluate the design. Imagine, and good when they, the old days they had to do that. It took them years to, uh, maybe months, I don't know, to make these clay models. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, and the, the really cool thing is you can have it perfectly symmetric. You have to make one side by hand and the other. Wow, well, of course, I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why you're the designer. Once again, thanks very much, Thank Hector. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Thank you. So there you have it. To purchase Air Design Super Rim truck accessories, contact your local Keystone sales rep.
or for licensed Mustang limited accessories from Super Rim, you can purchase them from your Ford dealer. Any inquiries on the product, email sales at airdesignusa.com.